Hello friends, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how to check the plagiarism on Turnitin. As we know that Turnitin is the most important, most reliable and authentic online source to check the plagiarism. And this is one of the helpful tool for researchers, article writers, research paper writers or review writers. But most of the people really don't know how to check the plagiarism. So in this video, we will be checking the plagiarism of one of our paper. So first of all, you have to go to your browser. Just open your browser and type down turnitin.com. Now let's jump over login section. Here we put our username and password. So guys, you must be well aware that this video tutorial is for the users of Turnitin. Who already bought the premium subscription from Turnitin or you are provided your ID from one of your research organization, university or any other organization. But those who do not have the Turnitin ID, you should not be disheartened because if you want me to check your paper, you can send me. I have already provided my email in the description section or you can go to my profile and click about. You will find my email address. You should send your paper without the references. As you already well aware, if you are a researcher or student, that without references, your paper is useless to somebody else. Okay? Or if still you don't like to send me your paper, if you are still doubtful, at the end of video, I will be telling another source, another very free source that can check your paper exactly like Turnitin is doing. So your plagiarism will be checked exactly like Turnitin without any cost. So let's go. So after we log in, we see interface like this. It also depends upon your organization what kind of profile they are providing you so in my case they provided me this and after that you will check out this view you click the view and now you can see that all these paper i have checked for plagiarism from the top, you can see that the similarities are 0% and then random values. Okay, now let's submit a file to check out the plagiarism. Here you have to submit the paper or any written material. Now click over here. just write the name of your project let's suppose i write the paper submission title i say title now you can choose file from different sources you can choose from google drive or dropbox here i have prepared a file from my computer Probably it is in OneDrive. Now you go here, just the main documents. So this is the file I gonna check for the plagiarism. You must keep in mind that uh, your original paper must be consisting of references. But if you check your paper with references, this paper or this work will be more prone to be plagiarized because the references are always detected as plagiarized and significant similarities. So I have put my references to another file and this file is without references. So I gonna select this file. Now Click on upload.
you can see your paper is uploaded and now you have to click the confirm now go to the assignment and you will have your file you can press this refresh button in order to fetch your file once your plagiarism is checked so this must be my file now you can see in my case only 16 percent of the result is showing the similarities in order to check the further analysis we have to click here okay now your file is ready after checking the plagiarism you can see the highlighted portion in the text where you have taken or copy copied from different sources so overall it is 16 percent which is acceptable in the journals and if it is thesis then it would be acceptable by the universities so you can check all these sources from where you have copied or these texts exactly matching to your paper so here are all the sources you can found 10 percent you taken from this one and nine percent from this one and so on you can see all these sources from where your lines are matching now you can download this file into pdf format you click here and then just click the current view the view are uh, exactly you can see here could be downloaded into pdf format you you see here that the file has been now downloaded now i will go to this file just go to the file source or you can click directly to open it here is the file just open your file and now this is the whole report provided by Turnitin. you can see the highlighted portion in the text is plagiarized so this is the summary Now you can easily remove this whole plagiarized version if it is needed, if it is more than 20%. And if you want me to make another video how to remove the plagiarism, you have to mention in the comment section so that I would be able to make another video which would be on how to remove the plagiarism. And in the start of my video, I have told you people that those who doesn't have the Turnitin account they either they can send me their text their paper on my email in order to check the plagiarism if you if, if it is not suitable to you then I will tell you another source that source is www.text.ru .text dot are you so thank you guys for watching my video i hope you like this video and this video would be helpful to you if you really like please do subscribe my channel and also hit the like button and if you have any suggestion please do mention in the comment section and if you have any suggestion either the next video I should make on how to check the free plagiarism by the source as I have mentioned in my video or if you want me to make another video that how to remove the plagiarism